Welcome to Edu Arrow Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about motion. We always see motion in relative to something. Motion is never absolute. For example, when we see a car moving on the road, We actually see the car changing its position with respect to the ground. Actually, motion is never absolute. We always define motion in relative to something. For now, in the light of the above example, we will define motion. When an object changes its position with respect to a reference point it is said to be in motion the important thing to note here is ref reference point we always define motion with respect to reference point this means that whenever we want to specify whether the object is in motion or not we have to specify a point with respect we are considering the object now let us talk about physical quantities we define physical quantity as any quantity which we can measure like mass we can measure in kg distance we can measure in meter kilometers and etc there are a uh, number of physical quantities in physics. Basically, we categorize physical quantity in two categories. Number one, scalars. And number two, vector quantities. Now, first, let us talk about what are scalar quantities. Scalar quantities are those quantities which has only magnitude. Example mass distance, speed, etc. We have already defined scalar quantity. We have defined scalar quantity as the quantity which has only magnitude. By magnitude, we mean that it has a numerical value. and unit for example we talk about mass mass is measured in kgs uh, let us say 5 kg this is a scalar quantity it has no direction for example mass is measured in kgs say 5 kg we can easily see that in this uh, uh, scalar quantity, 5 is the numerical value and kg is the unit. So whenever we talk about scalar quantities, it has two things. One is magnitude, one is only magnitude and magnitude consists of two things, numerical value and the unit. Now we come to discuss about vector quantities. Vector quantities have a lot of significance in physics because these are the quantities which have both direction and magnitude.
for example velocity we always define velocity at the rate of change of displacement by now first of all let us look back at scalar quantities speed is a scalar quantity because it has only magnitude we don't have to specify that 2 meter per second speed in northward direction or 2 meter per second speed in westward direction but in case of velocity we have to specify this because it is a vector quantity when we say a velocity of 2 meter per second it is incomplete we have to specify the direction whether it is north south east west or whether it is at any angle with something we all have to specify it because because it is a vector quantity बोलते बोलते